Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to mount the S1 onto a GoPro Chesty. So the great thing about the Removi S1 is that it can be used as a handheld or you can take the hand grip off and now you can mount it onto different uh, GoPro compatible accessories, one being the Chesty. So there's two ways that I like to mount the S1 onto the Chesty and I'll show you the two different ways. The first way that I like to mount the S1 onto the Chesty is using just a J-hook. I mount the J-hook upside down on the chesty and then I mount the S1 upside down on the J-hook. This will work for most activities where you're leaning forward like downhill skiing or riding a bike. For other activities where you might be standing up straight or leaning back a little bit, I, you should go with the second option. With the first option, there is a chance that the motor could get into the shot if you lean back too far, which I'll show you in a second. Once you have the S1 mounted on the chesty, you want to power on the S1. That is going to turn the, the gimbal on and the camera is going to be pointing at you. You just manually turn the camera so that it's pointing in front of you. And then as you're doing your activity like riding a bike or something, as you lean forward you can see that the motors are not getting in the shot. Just to show you the range of motion with having it mounted this way, I'm going to lean forward and lean back so you can see when the motor gets in the shot. So you can see leaning forward is obviously not going to get in the shot, but if you lean back a little too far then the motor will get in the shot. So if you're doing an activity where you're going to be standing up straight, you want to, go, want to go with the second option of mounting it, which I'll show you right now. The second mounting option I like to use is I use the J-hook again, but with a long extension arm and a short extension arm. I position the extension arm so they're pointing completely down so that the gimbal is touching the base of the bottom plate. This helps when you're doing some extreme activities and the gimbal won't be bouncing around because it's already as low as it can go and it's pushing against the plate. Once you have the gimbal mounted onto the chesty using the extension arms and the J-hook, you can go and turn the gimbal on. The gimbal will turn on and then the camera will be positioned towards you again. You just manually turn the camera around and position it the way that you'd like for the activity you're doing. Now I'll show you the range of motion with having it set up this way. It's obviously a lot better because none of the, the motors will be getting in the shot. So I'll lean forward and lean back just so you can see the range of motion. As I lean forward, you can see that there's nothing in the shot. And as I lean back, I can't really bend any more than this. I don't know what activity you'd be doing if you're bending more than this, but the motors do not get in the shot. I'll lean forward, nothing's in the shot, lean back. So this would be a great setup if you're doing something where you're leaning forward and you're leaning back. But if you're only going to be doing an activity where you're leaning forward, probably the first option is better just because there's less real estate on your chest. And that's how you use an S1 on a chesty.